On the 21st to the 22nd of May 2011, Plymouth Barbican had its Pirate Weekend. I was there to record it. No, that's all right. I'm going to wait and see what other is to take pictures of. No, not today. I don't know what's going on. I don't like the baby room. Hey, it's a wonderful day on the barbecue. Um, everybody's out and enjoying it. Lovely to see everyone. I'm being photographed as usual and enjoying every minute. That yeah, also. Thank you, my love. Chris is here as usual. So, what's this all about, Raven? Oh, it's uh, HMS Bounty and it's the Pirate Weekend. It's been a slack two weeks on the Barbican, but today is really, really coming hard. Nice to see people out. We've got the good weather and everything's looking really good at the moment. Have you managed to be on the ship yet? Not yet, but I will go. Sure, I'm just waiting for a pass, so it don't cost me so much. <laughs> What's the story of the bounty then? The HMS Bounty was made in 1962, starring in the bounty. Uh, I believe it was Marlon Brando, who played uh, Betty Christian, Trevor Howard as Captain Bly. It's only a third of the size of the original, but it looks really good. And I think there's some good times to come on that ship when I do get on there. Hopefully we'll see a few spirits. And Has there been any other films as well? In the, in the Pirates of the Caribbean, it's featured in that a few times also. And it's looking very, very good. I believe this one was built as a Hollywood theme set. Uh, That's uh, right, for the, the film. Uh, say it again. I believe this one... Three, two, one. I believe this one was made for a Hollywood film, uh, film set. It was, yeah. Community on the Bounty, the 1962 version of it. It's a great film, I watch it on a regular basis. Uh, but this ship is, it really is the nuts. It's great, it's brilliant, I love it. Everything's on there, it's very authentic. So it's the Pirate Weekend in Plymouth, is it? The Pirate this Weekend this awesome. weekend, today and tomorrow. And we've got the weather and we've got the people. And God bless us all. This is the first Pirate Weekend they've had? Uh, I believe so, I think we've had one before, but I don't think it was well attended as this one. We had the Kathleen May a few years back, but it didn't seem to go down as well as this one. So yeah. Is it going to be an annual event? And we, we're hoping so, we're hoping so. They sail on from here to Europe, and on the, we're the first leg of the ship. Well, where's it going to in Europe first? Uh, Belgium, I believe, and then on. And then a, a bit more filming towards the end of the year for a new film. Oh, so, worth having a look at. There they are, there look.
Are you the artist? Yeah. How long have you been painting? How long have you been, how long have you been painting? Oh, most of my life. Well, what's your name? Mike Nance. Yeah, Mike, Mike Nance. Mike Lance. Mm. Are you based in Plymouth? No, Tenmouth. Uh -huh. So is uh, most of your work based on uh, nature and the landscape? Uh, any new subject that comes up, I'd like to have a go at. Uh -huh. Did you see the piece about the statue? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Which, one, which one's that? So what inspired you to start painting? When, when did I start? Yeah. Um, well, it was a hobby for a long time. And uh, I rented a shop in Torquay. And it was a shop they couldn't sell, so I got it very cheap. And I started to sell, so it was fantastic. Are you inspired by, any, by anybody in particular? Uh, well, you influenced by a lot. I like Turner's work. Yeah, so I don't know. What, uh, would you, what would you classify as your style? My style? A bit of everything, really. <laughs> so yeah. It's very uh, defined. Oh, almost uh, photographic quality to it. You prefer to work that way? Sorry? You've got an almost photographic quality to your work. Do you prefer to work that way? Oh, well, thank you. Um, Photorealism. Sorry? Uh, almost photorealism. Oh, right. Well, I, I'm inclined to go to a little bit towards more impressionist now. Yes. And um, there's a, been a program on BBC Two the last couple of weeks where they've had people submitting work for the, the big galleries in London. And they got such a wide range that it's really got me all keyed up to try something new. Right, thank you very much. I really like your work. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's the tool for chopping goblets out of stuff. Can you get him to come over here and do some explaining? Cutting with it, you're slashing with it, you're stabbing with it, doing all kinds of things with it. And of course, it's got this really nice little knock of things you can slash something in the face with it. Makes it more stupid comments. The cutlass is different again, it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah?
Um, when you were fighting with the cops, we're not going to make any contact with you. Based in Perth, Chris? No, Saltash. Saltash? Yeah. How long have you been painting? Two months. Two months? Yeah. You're very good for it considering you've only been painting. I two could months. always do it. I just took the leap, gave up my salary, and now I'm doing it. Uh huh. Yeah. Have you been, you been to any colleges or anything? I went to art college, but it wasn't doing this, it was doing graphic design. Uh huh. Oh, so you've got a foundation in graphic design anyway? Yeah, yeah. So that makes a, a world of difference. Not a fine artist, uh -huh. but understanding. An understanding of art. Is all your work based on nature then? Um, it is at the moment, I suppose, yeah. Well, there's a lot uh, going on down in the southwest anyway. Yeah. A lot of inspiration from the. From I the, never uh, considered it like that, yeah, but it is, isn't it? Yeah. So how long have you been working down in the barbican? 
uh, about a month now, maybe five weeks. Yeah, so you're going to be here every Sunday, are you? Hopefully, yeah. Pyro, are you enjoying the day? Oh, it's been fantastic so far. Absolutely wonderful. Lots of wonderful people around and a really great, job my hand, yeah. a great day. What's happening tomorrow? Same thing again tomorrow, but more cuppers fighting, what have you, that sort of carry on. So it's going to be a really good day. Let's hope the sun shines again and let's get the thing back out in Plymouth. Super. doing at the moment? <laughs> I can't think of any innuendo. So <laughs> I'll just say, no, I'm par painting Mary Magdalene on the, on the Last Supper. Painting. Tinkering with her eye, really. Hello? Are you dealing with pieces of eight today? I'm a what, what, what? Are you dealing in pieces of eight today? Uh, yes. I am dealing in pieces of eight, except there's not many people with pieces of eight to, to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you've made your impression, Stuart. <laughs> Are you enjoying the festival then? I sure am! <laughs> oh, hurry, hurry! Oi, what's wrong with your leg? Do you want to go and see your daddy on the boat? Ship. On, on the boat? On the ship. On the uh -huh. ship. <laughs> uh -huh. What did you come in on? Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> that one. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, bounty, I think. Isn't that bar chocolate? I think it's bar chocolate. Very nice bar chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying the weekend? Yeah, it's really good. Victoria. Yeah, it's very good. Are oh, you smoking now? Just looking at it. I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I'm pretending. Oh, oh you're the great nice. pretender. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you famous yet? Well, I've tried to be, Chris. I keep getting photographed, and people keep stopping and talking. Some people say you're very trying. Oh yeah, well I've heard that myself, but I don't know whether to agree with that or not. <laughs> Here comes the other one. Here come the crew. Wondering where they was. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, a fabulous day. I wish we could do something like this every week. It's great. It really has brought people out. Really good. Back. Oh, yeah. I hope you can get
We're going to start dancing to this power music. This is. Don't tell me now. Wait a minute. You see. That's it. You see. No, they were around in the 1990s. They're the nude streakers. <laughs> What are you reading, Victoria? Treasure Island? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a television guide. There's a bounty on. TV So you're from Plymouth, are you? Yes, we're local. We're, we have two groups. We're normally the Plymouth Medieval Society, but we also do a Georgian reenactment taking uh, taken from the American War of Independence. How long have you been formed? Best part of 20 years. So but where, where do you do your reenactment? I think we live in a bad world today. The medieval reenactment is locally, or we go to Tewkesbury or Barclay Castle. We've been to France to do the Battle of Agincourt. We've done work for English Heritage in Berry Pomeroy and Oakhampton and Totnes. And how, how can people contact you? Uh, our our boss, basically, we do have a website. Uh, Plymouth Medieval Society will uh, show you our medieval aspect and the. What's the uh, website? Plymouth Medieval Society. Dot com. I think if you put that into Google, you will come up with us. Probably will on the yes. Google search engine. Yes. What, and what's your name? Plymouth Medieval Society. Dot com. Plymouth Medieval Society. Dot com. Oh, what's your name? I'm Marion Pritchard. Thank you, Marion. What's your name? How long have you been in the uh, group? Yeah, about getting over 20 years. Yeah, a, long, a long time. Is there a, how many members is there? Yeah, there is. The, uh, probably got about a dozen or so at the moment. Well, what's your name? Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, well. Raven. I have to. Raven, oh. I've just heard that Captain Jack Sparrow is going to be kidnapped this afternoon and held to ransom. What, what are your views on this? I'm the man who's kidnapping him. And oh, yeah? I'm holding to ransom and I'm not letting him go back unless I get 500 doubloons and half the ship. I heard that it's going to be at least 500. <laughs> Here, at least it's going to be 50 pounds. At least 50 pounds, yeah. And it's going to be for the local hospital? Absolutely, yeah. yeah so, where, where are they going to uh, take him? Anywhere I can think of. Somewhere dark, a bit creepy. And not very nice. <laughs> How long have you been in the uh, reenactment group? I'm in the reenactment group. I've been doing it for seven years. And what uh, what made you decide to join it? Um, I met the I met the people that I do it with. Different friends. Uh -huh. I thoroughly enjoy their company and thoroughly enjoy it. Are you enjoying the weekend? Yes, definitely. Oh, what's your name? Andrew Oscar. Thank you. Thank you. So what? Uh, you were in the salt fight yesterday. Was that? Uh, oh, you, yeah, were, I was. you were part of the group? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we did uh, a bit of fighting uh, yeah. up the here and uh, just, just a bit, bit further up uh, that way. Uh -huh. We will be doing it again today, uh, sometime later on this morning, probably sometime later on this 
afternoon. How did you get involved with the, uh, the pirate? Two, three. Uh, one more, please. One, three. Two, three. Thank you so much. Thank you. One more. Okay. One more. Another one. One, two, three. Sorry, go on. No, that's right. I'm going to wait and see what other is to take pictures of. Enjoying it. Lovely to see everyone. I'm being photographed as usual and enjoying every minute. That all the Thank you, my love. Chris is here as usual. So, what's this all about, Raven? Oh, it's uh, HMS Bounty and it's the Pirate Weekend. It's been a slack two weeks on the Barbican, but today it's really, really coming hard. Nice to see people out. We've got the good weather and everything's looking really good at the moment. Have you managed to be on the ship yet? Not yet, but I will go. Short. I'm just waiting for a pass so it don't cost me so much. <laughs> What's the story of the bounty then? The well, HMS bounty was made in 1962, starring in the bounty. Uh, I believe it was Marlon Brando, who played Fletcher uh, Christian, Trevor Howard as Captain Bly. It's only a third of the size of the original, but it looks really good. And I think there's some good times to come on that ship when I do get on there. Hopefully we'll see a few spirits. And Has there been any, any other films as well? In the, in the Pirates of the Caribbean, it's featured in that a few times also. And it's looking very, very good. I believe this one was built as a Hollywood theme set. Uh, That's uh, right, the, for the, the film. Uh, say it again. I believe this one... Three, two, one. I believe this one was made for a Hollywood film, uh, film set. It was, yeah. Community on the Bounty, the 1962 version of it. It's a great film, I watch it on a regular basis. Uh, but this ship is, it really is the nuts. It's great, it's brilliant, I love it. Everything's on there, it's very authentic. So it's the Pirate Weekend in Plymouth? The Pirate Weekend this awesome. weekend, today and tomorrow. And we've got the weather and we've got the people. And God bless us all. This is the first Pirate Weekend they've had? Uh, I believe so, I think they've had one before, but I don't think it was well attended as this one. We had the Kathleen May a few years back, but it didn't seem to go down as well as this one. Yeah. Is it going to be an annual event? I mean, we're hoping so, we're hoping yeah. so. They so sail on from here to Europe, and um, it's, 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 we're the first leg of the ship. Well, where's it going to in Europe first? Uh, Belgium, I believe, and then on. And then a, a bit more filming towards the end of the year for a new film. Uh -huh. so, worth having a look at. There they are, This has been a Christopher Field media production. You can contact me, sponsor me, and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield.gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video.